started almost exactly five years ago. Um, I had been a Beatle fanatic, a Beatle maniac uh, all my life since I was a little kid, uh, and John was always my favorite Beatle. Um, but uh, five years ago, I, I discovered the 1970 Rolling Stone interview. And I couldn't believe I had never come across it before, you know, in all the other, in all the books that I'd read. And, and, and it kind of, you know, people don't really, there isn't a lot of awareness of that interview. And I just thought, this is a movie right here. Um, because it is so nasty and explosive and, you know, uh, but also very honest. It shows John basically at his most unapologetically human. Um, so the idea was to make a, basically a standard biopic, uh, like Amadeus, you know, that kind of dramati dramatizes, you know, a bunch of different scenes from Lennon's life, um, from childhood to basically to the, break to the breakup of the Beatles, um, and then keep intercutting uh, between those scenes and the interview itself. about character and how and personality and how our how we grow or or don't grow uh, as we get older and how our attitudes about certain you know events and in, in our lives uh, are affected by where we're at you know and, and what mood we're in and the opening quote of the film I change daily uh, that's a quote from the 1970 Rolling Stone interview and, and Lennon was very aware of how you know how uh, Basically, how, how much his character could change, you know, at the drop of a hat or bas basically, you know, being affected by what drugs he would be on or, you know, what his relationship status was like at the time. And, um, that's, and that, that's the title, too, Rubber Soul. Uh, he, you know, he is bendable, but ultimately he's made of the same fundamental substance. Right now we're, we're doing the film festival circuit and, uh, and I'm loving that because it's basically a, a tour of, of the country and hopefully the world, uh, at just being able to show the film to a wide variety of audi audiences. Um, my dream is for the film to be distributed uh, and to reach as, as many people as, as humanly possible um, because, you know, it's it, in many ways it's a very challenging film and I understand when, you know, people walk out or people say this is, you know, it's too much. Uh, if, if you're not full, well informed about the 60s and about the Beatles. Um, but I would love, as they, uh, John and Paul say in A Day in the Life, uh, I'd love to turn you on. You know, I'd love to turn as many people on to, to John Lennon and the, and the Beatles as possible. And, and also just to, just to this more general character study, uh, just kind of people thinking about do we really change um, or do we just, do we grow and what the difference is between growing and changing. Um, and uh, in that sense, I think more people could relate to the film um, than just people who are, who are well informed. Um, and I hope that people, that, uh, you know, that it, it can reach all the people that, that really are interested. Um, you know, and, and well-informed, that uh, at, at the very least we can, uh, those people can have access to the film. That, that's my dream.